Lake Manitoba Manipogo. In the remote depths of Lake Manitoba, shrouded in the mists of Canadian folklore, the legend of the Manipogo, a serpentine monster lurking beneath the murky waters, had captivated the imaginations of locals and adventurers alike. Its story, woven into the fabric of the region, spoke of a creature from a time long past, a remnant of the prehistoric that had somehow survived in the lake's hidden depths. Eager to prove the existence of the Manipogo and make a name for himself in the world of cryptozoology, Nathan, a young and ambitious researcher, set out for the shores of Lake Manitoba. Equipped with the latest underwater imaging technology, he was determined to capture undeniable evidence of the creature's existence. The first few days of the expedition passed without incident, the lake's vast expanse offering nothing but the occasional glimpse of mundane aquatic life. Nathan's initial excitement began to wane, replaced by a growing sense of unease. The lake, for all its serene beauty, held a silence that felt almost oppressive, as if it were hiding secrets beneath its placid surface. On the fifth night, as a storm rolled in from the west, Nathan's equipment picked up an anomaly, a massive, moving shape deep beneath the lake's surface. Heart racing, he watched as the shape approached the underwater camera, its form obscured by the silt and shadows of the lake's depths. Suddenly, the monitors flickered, static obscuring the image as a low, resonant sound filled the air, vibrating through the cabin of Nathan's boat. The sound, both haunting and inexplicable, seemed to emanate from the lake itself, a call that stirred something primal within him. Compelled by a force he couldn't explain, Nathan grabbed a flashlight and stepped out into the storm, the rain lashing at his face as he peered into the darkness. There, illuminated by flashes of lightning, he saw it, a creature of massive proportions, its body coiling and uncoiling in the turbulent waters, scales glistening in the brief moments of light. The Manipogo, as if aware of Nathan's gaze, turned towards him, its eyes reflecting a strange, otherworldly intelligence. Nathan stood frozen, caught between fear and fascination as the creature began to move closer to the boat. And then, from the depths, the storm abruptly ceased, as if silenced by an unseen command. The lake calmed, the waters becoming eerily still under the sudden, unnatural quiet. The Manipogo, its massive form now just yards away from Nathan's boat, stopped its advance. In the silence, the two regarded each other, the human and the mythical creature, across the divide of worlds known and unknown. Nathan, his heart pounding, slowly lifted his camera, the need to document this moment overwhelming his fear. As the lens focused on the Manipogo, the creature did something entirely unexpected. It began to sing. Not with a voice, but with a series of low, melodic vibrations that resonated through the water and into Nathan's very bones. The sound was haunting, filled with sorrow and beauty, a song of the deep that spoke of ancient times and secrets buried beneath the waves. Captivated, Nathan forgot about the camera in his hands, the technological barrier between him and the creature fading away as he listened to the Manipogo's song. It was a communication beyond words, a sharing of experiences and emotions that transcended the barriers of species. As the song ended, the Manipogo dove, disappearing into the depths of Lake Manitoba, leaving Nathan alone on the calm water. He sat in stunned silence, processing what had just occurred. The encounter had not been one of terror, but of connection, a brief bridging of the human and the mythological. Nathan returned to shore with his equipment untouched, his camera devoid of the evidence he had initially sought. When asked about the expedition, he spoke not of proving the existence of a monster, but of an encounter with a being as complex and misunderstood as any creature of legend. The story of Nathan and the Manipogo spread, not as a tale of horror, but as a reminder of the wonders and mysteries that lie in the unexplored corners of the world, waiting for those willing to listen and understand. And on quiet nights, when the wind whispers secrets across Lake Manitoba, those who listen closely might hear the low, melodic song of the Manipogo, a call from the deep that invites us to wonder and to dream of the unknown.
Let us know what you thought of this story in the comments. Thank you for listening. Join us tomorrow at 6 a.m. EST for a new untold story. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more artificial apparitions.